Okay, so what we're gonna do here is move this plastic cover. Okay, baby. Come on off. This is a sad Mayon. RGB. It's different and it has tie rods. We don't want to drop the wheel on our foot. So what we did here is we're gonna remove the tie rod next. Okay, so to remove a tie rod, you always gotta uh, loosen up this bolt first. So I usually take my adjustable wrench here, and it needs to go kind of clockwise if you're looking at it from that side to losing this baby so pretty much it's this way there you go sometimes it won't come off you might have to heat it sometimes your tie rod won't turn you would have to heat up the tie rod but that's fine and we got a new part coming in but meanwhile uh let's take this baby part so we got a bolt on here and The free play. Okay, it's in here. Okay, it's inside here. There you go. Oh, it's hot. Anyways, so the next step is you need a tool that can push this off. A fork would do. They got a clamp here. Or we could just hit this baby with the hammer. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab our hammer. You can simply just go underneath the vehicle. If you have the proper tools, you can do it proper way. You can hit it right here. And then the tie rod will come off. Very simple and easy. So, pay attention to this, guys. What I like to do here is to keep the alignment back in the spot. So this thing is, look how free play this is. Okay, so to keep the alignment in place, I like to count the threads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 21 and a quarter turns. Okay, so make sure your new tie rod is the same length, 21 and a quarter. 21.5. Okay. Okay, guys, we got ourselves a new tie rod, tie rod, move tech. Uh, this is a 2001 uh, Saturn Ion, but just make sure you get the correct tie rod for your vehicle. Let's see what's in the box, what's the bag in here. Okay, so that's everything in the back. All right. I don't like this particular brand, but this is the only thing I can get my hands on. So it comes with, uh, it has a nut here. Okay, let me put this to the side for now. So inside this little bag, we have, what do we have here? We have uh, no cotter pin, but that's fine. Uh, okay, that bolt itself is a locking mechanism. So what we're gonna do here is, it comes with this little fitting, we're gonna put that baby on too. And we're gonna take this off. Remember, 21 and a quarter of a turns on this baby. Mine off. There you go. So this little guy goes on. It doesn't matter this way or that way. I'm gonna put this baby on.
Okay, so let's back this up as much as we can. Anyways, whoops. Sorry about the camera. Uh, anyways, this little fitting goes right here. You need to put this on. Make sure you catch it by hand first. And then turn it with your wrench. Okay, I could probably just turn it with my big old adjustable wrench over here. So this is where you're going to grease from. So every about 10 to 15,000 miles, I will throw in some greasing into this tie rod. I should keep it nice and good for a long time. Okay, that's it. I feel it that it has snugged in. You don't want to go crazy either. So, 21 and point f uh, a quarter of a turn. So let's see. Okay, I already caught it right here. So I'm gonna count this as a quarter. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Okay, twenty. And this has got to go back a bit. Twenty-one. And I'm gonna leave it there, okay? So, one thing I forgot, make sure, make sure, your counting is only good if your tie rod is about the same length, okay? Nothing's gonna be perfect. Do get an alignment, but this is gonna put your, uh, lease your alignment back to where it originally was. So, no cotter pin, but this thing has a little plastic rivet at the end or, or some type of locking mechanism. And, this baby goes in, and we're gonna put this baby on. Okay, so all I need to do is, I need to lock this bottom bolt up. Okay, that's the wrong size. Let's see if this fits. There you go. Just get the correct size. Bing, bada boom. Do not forget to tighten this boy, okay? Or you're gonna have issues. Make sure, like I said, you get an alignment. So guys, give me about 10 minutes more and I'll put the camera back on. What I wanna do is I wanna put the tire on and then we're gonna check the plate. Okay, there should be no plate. Okay, tighten this baby up and bring it back to the normal spot. That's it. Uh, gonna throw in some greasing. Later on, it's empty, so I am gonna be, I'll have to get some greasing, just a grease fitting with a grease gun, just pump it in there. Anyways, let's check our plate with the tire on.